Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got this adorable little treat box for you. It's um, got a clip top and it holds a package of Hai Chu. And it's a snug little box. You gotta give it a little shank, but you can get these fun um, Japanese candies on Amazon. Peach is. Um, one of the flavors there's also banana and other flavors so this is a cute little box that you can do with all kinds of themes we're going to focus on sweet as a peach today it's a little warm-up project for the sweet as a peach class in the kitchen table stamper online classroom so we're featuring the sweet as a peach bundle from stampin up it's a 20 piece photopolymer stamp set and the peach dies you can buy these two items together and save 10 percent with a bundle discount we're going to start our project with a piece of petal pink cardstock. This is four and three quarters by four inches. And when you go to kitchentablestamper.com, follow the link if you're on YouTube to the project details. Uh, there will be below the embedded video on the blog a link that says click here for your sweet as a peach high chew box to uh, project sheet and the picture of the template is always on the printable project sheet. All right, so we're gonna start with this box in the assembly score tool on the four inch side and we're gonna score at one half, one and three quarters, two and a quarter, and three and a half. Then we'll rotate once to the right. Now we're on the four and three quarter inch side. We're gonna score at one half, four, and four and a quarter. Let's get a bone folder and some paper snips. We'll burnish all the score lines and trim it according to the template. All right, scores are nice and crisp and we're going to trim. We're gonna start with the half inch strip that's on the right hand side. What we're gonna do there is we're gonna make a glue tab. So we're gonna bevel cut just a little bit and remove this bottom square. And then we're going to bevel and remove this top skinny rectangle and square. So there's our first panel from the right. Now across the bottom, we're gonna remove these three score lines and liberate the tabs. I like to do just a little bit of an angle cut, kind of a bevel and cut all three of those score lines right out of there. And then here, I'll just shave a little bit off the tab. There's our bottom box. Now the top of the box, we're gonna flip. Let's do this so that everything lines up. Then we're gonna leave a long tab a short small tab, a long tab, a short small tab. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna first cut those beveled cuts and just get the uh, creases, cut out the creases from, to the second score line, all three, just like we did for the bottom, but we're going two score lines deep. Then we can go ahead and trim off the little tabs right at the score line. I'm gonna grab a corner rounder and round the top tabs. And there is our box template. Isn't this just so cute? Let's get our project back in there. All right, now let's put our designer series paper. I have a sweet as a peach. I have the You're a Peach designer series paper right here. Oh, I don't know which one to do. Maybe I'll do the peaches. Um, on this one and see how that looks. But this designer series paper, two pieces, one and an eighth by three and three eighths. Let's glue those down. We're using multi-purpose liquid glue. And I've got some tear and tape right here to put together our box. All right, there they are. I do love this tiny little peach pattern. For some reason, it reminds me of the strawberry shortcake dolls when I was a kid. <laughs> you don't know what the, the pattern is, but it definitely triggers strawberry shortcake memories. 
All right, so we're going to add some adhesive on the front side, long tab. And then the front of our box is the one with no seams. See, the seams go to the back. So this is the front of our box. This, not the first one from our right, second wide tab. So here's where you lift the tab and put the adhesive on the bottom tab of the box. All right, let's get the take your pick tool so I can liberate the sticky and get this box assembled. All right, there it is. I'm going to keep this tab from sticking to the table. Don't adhere it down to the table. We're going to fold not on this first score, but on the second one. And we're going to fold up on the final score, line up the seam, and then burnish. Then we can pop our box open. We want all seams to go to the back. So we're going to put in the side seam or side tabs and then the back to the front and then the front to the back. So now you see the seam is at the back of the box and the seam is at the back of the box. You can burnish that by using your bone folder inside the box. All right, we can pop our little candies in now and then fold up and press down. I'm going to use a raised hired clever clasp to close this box. Don't worry, these will uh, maybe end up on a clearance rack somewhere. If you don't have the clever clasp, look for the mini library clasps from the catalog before that. Or just know that Stampin' Up! is always offering new ones. You could also use a mini clothespin to close these little boxes. All right, so if you're a Dollar Tree fan like I am, little mini wooden clothespins will do in a pinch. I love the gold tone clip with the gold shimmer in the ribbon. I'm using the um, Metallic Blushing Bride ribbon. This is a retired ribbon. I'm using it because it is the featured ribbon in the Sweet as a Peach Treats class in the kitchen table stamper on my classroom. So you will get a full spool of this ribbon when you take the class with, to go. So I've still got a limited supply and kits are available while supplies last. All right, so I'm just pulling the ribbon through the clasp. If you're using something that doesn't have a pull through like that, like a little library clip or um, a wooden clothespin, then tie your bow and use a mini glue dot to attach it to the clip. All right, so we're going to pull our little loops now you'll notice because this is a single-sided ribbon that we've got glittery ears and one glittery tail. And the way to fix that is to just lift the loop on that side, twist the ribbon so that the right side is up. And then once you've got it positioned so that the right side is up, then just pull the ears and tighten. And then you'll have a bow that's right facing in every direction. All right, then we're going to trim off the excess, clean up this edge just a little bit. Look at that. When you tie from the spool, that's all you waste. I love that. All right, let's decorate. I've got soft suede cardstock and my everyday label punch. I haven't used this one in a little while. It's been around forever. It's an awesome shape. We're going to punch that out of soft suede scrap, and then we're going to emboss it. Got my little mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine here. I love this dude. We're gonna use one and three when we're using the embossing folder. This is a standard mini folder from Stampin' Up! It's not 3D, so one and three is what we need. We're gonna lay the label in as far to the bottom right edge here as possible. So we get a pretty little botanical pattern. Hinge first, plate number three on top of that. Give it a crank. Remember, your little mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss machine is a two-hand tool. You saw that I gave it a little push with one hand while cranking with the other, and then held the handle while cranking. There's our embossed label. Whoop, almost got away from me. Now let's highlight that gorgeous botanical with some craft ink. I've got the Whisper White Stampin' Pad here. It's craft ink, and we're going to just Drag the pad across the label, highlighting the raised areas. So we're gonna have a little shadow of sprigs and leaves behind our peach. 
really looks pretty with the big floral and peach pattern on the designer series paper. Let's see how it looks with the little peaches. I couldn't resist. It's always an experiment, right? Keeps it exciting. And since all the Stampin' Up's patterns in the designer series paper pack coordinate so well, it's easy to mix and match and still have success. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now I'm gonna just gently rub my thumb over the ink to soften some of the lines. I don't want it to look abrasive. And then I got a little paper towel here and just wipe my thumbs off. All right, let that dry for just a minute because adhesive doesn't want to stick to the wet ink. So we can give that just a minute to dry. And get my Stampin' Pierce mat and some ink pads. We're gonna stamp some peaches and flowers here. All right, so I'm ready to do my peaches. I've got a couple of ink pads and a Stampin' Write marker. Ready? This is Pear Pizzazz, Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, and Soft Suede. The photopolymer stamps give a better impression when you got a Stampin' Pierce mat. And I'm going to use scraps. Literally use up your scraps for this. It's awesome for um, this awesome little stamp set for using up all those white scraps that we hoard. All right, I'm going to start with my peach. And it's pale papaya. We're going to ink it entirely. And then you've got a sponge dauber. We're going to take the sponge dauber and pick up a little bit of calypso coral and then gently shade our peach. And the more you dab around here, the less it'll look like a round dauber went to town on your peach. So dab a little bit. You can kind of see what that shading's gonna look like before you stamp. And then let the ink transfer. We got a gorgeous two-tone peach. Now we're gonna ink our leaves in pear pizzazz. And you know that paper towel that I had hanging around? We're gonna swipe off the green ink from the stem. Use our Stampin' Write marker to make the stem brown. This is soft suede. And then we'll stamp the leaves on a scrap of white. Got some peach blooms here and another scrap of white. I'm gonna ink up in pale papaya and treat these like we did our peach. We're gonna just take our Calypso coral dauber and go along the edge of these flowers. And then just go around like semi-circle and kind of blend the two shades together. And then we'll stamp that one. We'll let the ink transfer for just a second. And lift. Ooh, I love the two-tone effect. Right, let's get that a second to dry and bring our peach back in. I've got sweet as a peach and your as. So we've got a two-step greeting here. We're gonna stamp sweet as a peach on the peach leaving room for your as on the top. So sweet as a peach first. I found that this is the easiest way for me to line these two up. And then add your as to the top of the greeting. There it is. Now we got to stamp over the flowers with the flower center. So you have a little flower center and soft suede. I'm gonna stamp the center of each of these little blooms. Aren't they beautiful? All right, let me clear away the ink pads and bring the Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine back in. All right, so I've got my little mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine again here. And I'm going to put my one, two, and then my papers. I've got flowers, leaves, and a peach. And believe it or not, we can do all the die cutting for this project in one pass even on this teeny little machine. I'm going to just line up my dies. All right, since I'm lining up multiple dies to go in one pass, I like to just tack them down with a little bit of low tack tape. And let's give that a crank. Number two on the top. And this is a two-handed machine, so we're giving a little push with our left hand while we crank with our right hand, and then we'll shift to the top of the machine and crank through. Every die cut piece we needed for the entire project 
One pass through the little machine. I love this dude. He's my best buddy. Here's sweet as a peach and our leaves. And we're going to use the littlest flower for this project. Don't worry. I have a bag of spare parts for my peach projects. These will definitely be used. I just put them in a little zip top bag and in the stamp set. And I've always got little parts on hand when I go to design the next project. It's awesome. All right, there's our box, our label, our stamped pieces. Let's get some dimensionals and get this put together. I'm gonna start with stamping dimensionals on the box. I'm gonna add two about center and then adhere my label to that. That way I know since the label's wider than the box that there's not gonna be any exposed adhesive behind the label. Pop the label on. Then my peach, we're gonna pop that dude on. I got a combination of dimensionals and minis just to get it well supported and make sure that your words read level. Don't pay attention to where the peach is necessarily, but make sure that the words read level. I'm going to dab a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue at the base of the stem and leaf here because that's going to overlap the peach. And then stamp a dimensional on the leaf at the top. We're going to adhere that to our peach. And then last step, we've got our little flower. And we'll add that one with a mini Stampin' Dimensional also. How cute is that? You're as sweet as a peach. There's our little high chew boxes. You can find the high shoes on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below and on the blog, you'll find it under sources. If you've got any questions about the project, please email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and a shop Stampin' Up 24-7. You can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Pick up your sweet as a peach bundle and both items together and save 10%. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.